Hello guys, Sim from runnabitcoinnote.com So let's see the main Bitcoin apps I'm uh, running together with Bitcoin full node in Umbrel OS. Let's see uh, how much memory and uh, RAM it takes. I have the latest version. So I have Bitcoin node, I need to, and it's running. It's running very good, it should sync with less than three days. Let's see. Keep you updated, then I have BTC Pay server to set up, chat IE that I can use with OpenAI uh, API. I can actually show it. Uh, I haven't entered the API, but yeah, okay. Then we have, um, this is uh, firewall for the lighting node that I need to set up. Electress, I can directly connect with the uh, Bitbox. 02 uh, Bitcoin only wallet, uh, hardware wallet, uh, individuals is to see YouTube videos without publicity, and Ether is to see Twitter without publicity, Mempool is to see uh, how congested is the Bitcoin blockchain. I will set up also Noster Relay, and Mempool we can only see when the uh, Bitcoin node is fully synced, the same with Lightning node, can set it up before. Plex is for watching movies uh, that uh, can find with transmission from the um, <coughs> I put a page I maybe do a different video about this uh, snort is to use Nostr and Tor Snowflake is to use Tor with Bitcoin node um, this is the main apps you need so let's see how much uh, so the new Ombrel OS uh, uh, 0.5.4 has a better look in the in the app store as you can see all apps are free then um, let's see settings so um, RAM music is 5 gigabytes from 8 gigabytes Bitcoin now is taking 2.5 probably because I uh, changed um, I will show you I changed the default settings, advanced settings, you don't need to do it, but I changed the Kahe settings and restart the node to 4.5 giga. Instead, default is 450, so it should uh, sync faster. Um, let's see, last time was 5-6 six days, now it should do in 2-3 uh, days, we'll see what happens, I will keep you posted. Uh, and then also, uh, because Bitcoin node is taking, uh, I know, already 560 gigabytes. Um, so you can imagine that uh, total will be uh, 700 gigabytes already. So you only have 300 left if you use one terabyte SSD. That's why I'm using two terabyte one um, to be future proof and also to be able to put uh, more than a few hundred good quality movies in the... Um, or whatever uh, home video files in the in the let's say in the in the plex um, or let's say in the, this hard drive also uh, there is file system app also that uh, that yeah uh, transmission can directly um, put uh, downloaded files uh, in the plex uh, plex can take in downloaded uh, files folder directly and uh, you just need to sync it um, and it will make a longer video maybe of all these apps directly yeah okay uh, i hope this was useful put questions downstairs in the comments if you have some and have a nice day uh, click subs subscribe and like also bye